pulpy games, consistently forcing numbers advantage with the Radiant. Oh, it's on Radiant version. I've been playing too much TFT. Oh, Jesus Christ. But finally, the last pick for IG, most likely going to be the Gwen, where I said that he is trying to look for that hard winning matchup, trying to get a lot of pressure soaked into him where uh, TT, they need to commit two people to really it's Bottom get lane, on and Wink. Summon is available here, but what can happen? Yao Yao on the Blitzcrank, flashes to get the knock up here as Baytron moves into the lane, wink the target, knocked back, and put on a silver platter for 1XN. There it is, the flash, oh. but I mean, IG's draft one, Tin has the ultimate. Yao Yao gets it turned around onto him, and that's more like it from the side of IG. Yeah, yeah, doesn't cool. have what frontlines really provide, which is setup. Can one XN steal this? <laughs> Come on, observe. Let's don't zoom in on that. Tianjin doesn't didn't have that glacial prism available for that rift herald. And as I said, Juani, they are the sole engage. I don't think they have what it takes to kill Wise Camp. Even burning the Malachi ultimate, spotting out Tianjin here. The turnaround onto Baytron, forced to flash away. Tianjin goes in and on. Follows it up to find the kill, but the hook underneath the tower. Tianjin gonna go down here, but he just managed to finish off Yao Yao before he does. So 1XN get hunted to the other side of the rift. So shouldn't be in too much trouble as Cryin caught by the roots here. Yao Yao, the perfect follow. The CC chain is absolutely disgusting. And it sets up for a kill for Yukal. Very nicely done. Trying to deny IG, stacking it up. Tianjin. He's given his life for a previous play. Tries to do it again as the football goes in from Wink, but Tianjin will go down and now resets for Yukal. As Hoya has found Arn from behind. In comes Yukal, but he wasn't ready for the initial play. And Arn slowed. Can they finish this one off? Yukal, no summoners. Hoya flashing for the slow again. He's almost solo killing him, and Yukal just about steals credit. It's he's gonna try and get a reset off here, but I don't think he's gonna get away with it. The roots coming in, crying, jumped on by Yukal. The damage is there, and I guess this is the rest of the game, right? Yukal and Beichuan. The guy is gonna be oh. so hard to lock down. <laughs> They're trying to dive onto Hoya. He just sends one pack in and walks away for the play. Traded the tier, get the tower. I don't think the damage will be there to stop it. Charge could be channeled here. Yao Yao threatening the grab. There we go. Tier one taken by TT, and it sets them up for the like Blitzcrank and Malkai. No ultimate from Patron just quite yet. Here it goes. <laughs> just sent back in. On now, gonna be real. TP available to join the fighters. Hoya moves in, but Baron is already down to 6k. They're gonna be able to finish this one off. The TP being channeled. Baron taken by IG. They look for the fight as well, but it's a 5v5 at this point. And Tianjin trying to escape with his life. Yukal jumping forwards for the damage. His Beitran jumping on in. Hoya over the wall, and he's found the perfect target. Crying down, flash from the hook, and now potentially a die. Slowly pushing this wave in. Baron was taken by IG, but can they survive the onslaught? YSKM moving back in as Tianjin falls down. The 5v3 begins in YSKN. The next target is Yukal gets a double. Honestly, how does IG even get that as well? They are going to get two towers as a return, but that's going to stagger the game out. So the Baron buff available for Gwen and play towards the side. But unfortunately, that's not what happened. We actually saw Kryon commit his TP towards this bottom side to try and get him for the Drake as Hoya flash. charges in. Looking for Kryon, the knockup is there. Can they finish the kill? No, Kryon walks away. And now Baytron gets turned around on by the rest of IG. He's abandoned by his team and Tianjin survives. Oh, what extent? You're in all kinds of trouble here. Flashes away from the damage though. The Needlework along, along the rest of the team. Why scan? YXKN, 1XN survives as Tianjin goes oh, back blast. in on dives into the backside of the fight and IG turning the game around again. Baron in pocket and maybe more kills too. And he overcommitted trying to get onto Crying. And they sacrifice the rest of the fight. So YXKN finishes Cal over the wall. Blast Cone as well to jump on the That's spot basically people. there. I mean, Crying, there's nothing you can do on this one. He's going down. Yao Yao somehow grabs the kill. I'm not quite sure how that occurred. I think that was his passive, actually. One shot, one XM. I think that is the play they were trying to set up. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't. Here we go. Flash into the action as Tianjin 
just gets wrecked. And now the rest of the team will be annihilated too. But YSK has something to say about it. Chasing out Yao Yao on the top side of the play. It's a 2v2 on the opposite side of everything. As Wink chased out here on the next target. And the bomb ticking away as 1xN with a triple kill. Wink goes down and TT somehow find five. Not having the only hard CC to lock down the side of TT in Tianjin's abilities. He flashes in and forces something, but TT, their double AD carries go untouched and they're going to end the game. I like Tianjin, he's got a lot of health, but he doesn't actually have tanky stats with a war mod. He missed that one as well. Switch, just sent on home. And uh, I asked to see something other than Rengar. I regret saying that. I want to see the Rengar again. I don't want to see the Sijuani. TT, take game number one. And you know, it was not a clean win, but I feel like they had their game plan. They knew how they wanted to play it. And I like the composition that they drafted. You know, playing of the enemy's mistakes is definitely also a type of way to success. And that's definitely...